Hey everyone, my name is Meredith and I am host of Guiding God's Daughters. I'm also on Instagram at Meredith T. Shaler. And I am here, I, I have a podcast called um, Guiding God's Daughters Get Real, Go Deep, which I love doing, but the Lord is really calling me in this fall season to take a pause on it and really focus on videos for you all on Instagram and YouTube. So each Instagram reel is going to kind of be a teaser of what you see on YouTube. And so I suggest you follow me on Instagram and make sure you continue to follow me on here because my goal is to do them every day, to be consistent, to do them five days a week. Overwhelming, but you know what? I'm reminded today that I have had 15 years in recovery and uh, I've run five marathons. So I know what it is to do it one day at a time and I know God can give me the strength. And so whatever you're going through, God can give you the strength to go through it one day at a time. Um, and which is scary because I think we get this. I think part of the reason that so many people are so far from God is because they're looking for so many spiritual things in this world. And the spiritual things of the world are not of God. And we have to be so careful. I think we also, we all have to kind of, not all, but a lot of us, who have to find God in a different way, have to go down that road of kind of spiritually seeking. But the truth, yes, the absolute truth comes from the word of God and coming into relationship with Jesus. And that's how you come to know God. And I have worked with many people who are afraid to go back to God because they don't want to do it the way they grew up, the way their parents showed them. And I'm here to tell you that God is bigger than that. God is bigger than what you have thought he has been. You have to pull him out of the box you've put him in. Yes, you have put him in a box that he doesn't belong in. He is greater. He is more powerful. He created everything in the universe, literally, not the universe, but the absolute, he created everything. So to try and seek something else other than him to fill the hole in your soul that is the spiritual place, it's not going to work. You're going to wonder why none of them are fulfilling. Even if they feel good for a, a long time, you're going to get to a point where you're going to need something more, where you're going to go through a crisis or you're going to go through something where you're like, wow, this self-help tool, I mean, it kind of helps me, but it's not healing that gaping hole in my soul. So um, that's really what I wanted to tell you about. That's what I'm here to do is I am here to be a mentor to you, to be a spiritual mentor, but in the Christian sense. I am a Christ follower. I am a Christian woman. You see guiding God's daughters back there. That is what I do. I guide his daughters. Whether you believe you are God's daughter or you don't yet, I am here to guide you towards him. I am a life coach, yes, but I am not going to point you to your truth. I am going to point you to his truth as your guide, but also help you learn how to adult, how to live life with him as your guide, because there's nothing else in this world that will make you as strong as him, make you as steady as him and as peaceful as him. So you can, you know, choose every spiritual road. And I will tell you about some of the ones I took and, um, and some of them did help me grow, but all of them showed me that the deeper need I had was a deeper relationship with the one who died on the cross and saved me and saved you. But you got to know it. You got to know it personally. You can't just, as my favorite saying, he can't be just an up there, not down here, God. You want to be saved. He needs to be in relationship. You need to be seeking him. I'm going to talk about that here. We're getting to the real. You're getting real with Meredith. And I want you to know one other thing. I'm not coming out this because I had this all figured out. I mentioned I'm in recovery. There are so many wrong roads I've gone down, so many broken pieces of my story. And I didn't grow up in the word. I'd never picked up a Bible until I was mm, about in mid to late 20s. I almost, it's almost like I didn't even know it existed. I only heard scripture from priests in a church on Sundays. Yes, that works for some people, but that wasn't enough for me. I needed a personal relationship with the Lord. So if this is you, stick around. I want to help you. I want to mentor you. I want to coach you. If you need a mentor, reach out to me on my email. I'll put my email on YouTube. And, um, you know, I'm going to be starting a course in January that I'm going to get a wait list ready together for you. So 
Stick around, keep listening, and we will talk again soon. Have a good one.